here's a great variation of a deadlift that we can leverage to fix a lot of our muscular imbalances, come from our everyday patterns, typically speaking. We tend to turn our feet out too much. We don't use our big toe in the sense of hip extension, and our posture starts to suffer a lot in the lower back, it starts to suffer a lot in our head position and our shoulder position as we text and drive and do a lot of things forward. So you get a lot of weird injuries surrounding the lower quadrant, even the knees, hamstrings, lower back area, and it can feed up the subkinetic chain. So an exercise like this can stretch out some of the areas that have a little bit of restriction and more namely give us a little bit more power and presence in our posterior muscles that create retraction and depression in the shoulder girdle. In order to achieve this, we would need an elevated platform such as these wedges that I bought online. If you didn't have a set of wedges, you can use a plate of some sort that elevates your feet and it's treated like a reverse deadlift where you're moving on a negative sense and there's a centered work. So if I place my feet up on top of this set wedge, my goal is to pull my shoulder blade down and back and earn what's called an open anatomy position out of this profile. The same rules of a good strong deadlift, shoulder blades are retracted, head is retracted. I'm gonna keep my legs relatively straight, pushing my knees slightly outward, returning them there. And my negative timer, my centric work is done as slow as possible, a five to seven second interval on the way down, coming back up at regular tempo. Things to look out for, you're not letting your weight transfer so much to your toes, so you're gonna fall flat on your face. You want your pelvis slightly out, and that's how we manage that with our knees out position too. Again, keeping everything aligned, and shoulder width down and back, keeping up or keeping my head neutral, and coming up for a regular tempo position. Again, this will fix a lot of issues that happen in our postural muscles.